Welcome, friends! It is I, Lost Scarf, and it's time for a different kind of video. We are doing uh, what I want to call it, uh, What Scarf Thinks, and today it's What Does Scarf Think of Rogue Wizards? So we're going to try to do a 10 minute format where I give you the pros and cons of a game, put a little bit of my opinion, but not too much, but just show you the game, let, have it just tell you about it itself in about 10 minutes, and then it's up to you to decide whether you want to buy this game or not. First thing to tell you, this is by Spellbind Studios. This is a game that I'm playing on Steam. It can be bought for iOS and Android, so you can play it on tablet or on phone, from what I can tell. And uh, let me show you the game. So I'm going to go with my story uh, name here. You can also do roguelike as well. So Rogue Wizards is like a dungeon crawler. And uh, you'll see what it is in a second. So this is your hub town at the start. And I just leveled up so I can show you leveling in this game. So when you level up, you can put your attributes and your spells. So attributes over here. You got your usual three. You got you got damage. You got your blocking criticals, disarming traps, detecting secrets, and of course your HP and ability to absorb damage. So let's just go with an evenness there. Just get some survivability there. So your equipment. So it's a dungeon crawler. So you get equipment. So you got your armor. You got your bracelet there. You got necklace, shoes, hat, shield, and then you got whatever weapon. You're using a spear. You can also use fireballs. You can use just different spills in the game, and you can also use a scepter to amp that up and just attack with. And here's the spell tree. When you level up, you have all these different spells you can do. As you can see, I've kind of just bought every kind of spell for the most part. And I'm buying this as well, just so I have a big variety of spells I can use. So now I got another spell here, and uh, whoops, we want to buy one more banish. So now I got one of each spell that I can show off here. Just put it down here. So now I've got the different elementals. And each spell uses uh, stuff that you'll have in your inventory, and which will drop from enemies and some items. You can also buy them as well to have enough money to use these spells. These are just the first level of each spell. You also have potions, there's my weapon there. And that is showing all of that. You see I'm level 5. So see, this is just uh, Cosmic Dust used for the spell here. So you have your bag inventory, and you have your backpack inventory. I don't know why they're two different inventories. And you just have different things. You have a storage place over here, you got your quest area over here, which also houses your animals. And a weird, there's a, here's a weird con, it treats it like a freaking phone game in that you can only use your animal friends like once an hour, so once I use him, which we're going to use right now, he goes in cooldown for an hour, which is really an odd thing just for a game, especially one that's like this. You have your place where you can buy equipment, you can also upgrade, you can also look at your equipment currently, look at your spells, stuff like that. And you can see how it is a game you could probably play on a tablet, because I'm doing only left clicking, you also right click, but really everything can be done with a single click. Of course, this is your shop where you can buy just uh, what I need right over here. So, buying more stuff for spells and buying a potion right there. Got the. Uh, this is the place for the spells. And then over here is the shop for armor, I believe. Yep, there, armor shop. You can upgrade all that stuff there. And then the usual dungeon crawl. So, let's go do some dungeon crawling. Where do I want to go? I want to go to Howling Cave. That's the quest there. Or do I want to go to the Cave of Winds? Let's get some Howlin' Cave here so I can show you the gameplay in this dungeon. So this is the meat of the game right here, a dungeon crawl. Dungeon crawls are, you know, a dungeon crawl. So here's some dungeon crawling here. So with left click you move around. With the keyboard you can also move around as well, but I'm just talking like tablet and such, you know, you just be clicking around. Right click is, this is the one difference is you can attack with right click like so. You automatically pick stuff up for the most part. Keys light them open up chests as you can see there. And we've opened all the chests on this current level. Now we're fighting. Oh, damn, this is a lot of stuff coming at us. So I'm going to want to summon a sentinel here. So summon a sentinel. That'll help fight with me. They just summoned a lot of crap. I'm about to be in a big trouble here. Luckily, I have a bunch of different spells I can use as well. But what I want to use right now, I think I can maybe handle this fight. So let's go ahead and just fight some things. So just beating up on these monsters. My little crab guy's going to help out as well. And this is essentially what the game is. Dungeon crawling. If you know, if you play dungeon crawlers, you get what we're doing right here. Sometimes you'll find another person in the caves who can help you out, so you can have yourself, another person, and the crab. You see all this combat's happening, everyone takes a turn, as you can see there. Just killing things, some equipment drops. And this essentially is what the game is. Just a whole lot of dungeon crawling. So if you're a fan of dungeon crawling and getting loot and such, this is going to work out for you. It's a nice looking game, the music's pretty good, good atmosphere for it. And my little buddy's just doing some work over there. And this is essentially what the game is, just crawling dungeons and just killing things. And so that is for a specific type of group. If you just really like dungeon crawlers is the best way to put it. The thing about it is... That's really all there is to it. So it's really for a specific group, uh, in my opinion. It's just people just like dungeon crawling. 
And the thing is, because there's only so much going on here as a PC game, not the biggest fan of it. This is me putting an opinion right here. Uh, as a tablet game, I think this might work. You know, you got you got some time to kill because you can save at any time. You got some time to kill, go in here and do a dungeon or do some dungeon save, come back to the dungeon later. I think that works out perfectly. On as a Steam game, not for me, but maybe it'll be for you. I'm not sure. But that's really what's going on here is, well, what you're seeing right now. Just click, kill, click, move on, click, click. And that's that's really is what a dungeon crawler is after all. HP there, experience over there. I'm just going to keep playing through to show you a little bit more of the game. But the Sasquatch, and there are elementals, as you see when I highlight them. This guy's weak to fire, strong against ice, so I could also use fireballs so to show you this. So, fireball, boom, there you go, blew it to hell. Pick up all these items here. Whoops, I accidentally hit right click. And break this. And there we go. We already know we found all the treasure as well, so we can move on. We'll get this sucker back on. Now, a nice thing, something I really do like about this game, is the leveling up of equipment. This is a pretty nice touch. Let me show you equipment really quick here. My spear... So, you use something long enough, it levels up. I've used a spear so much, it has a bunch of abilities on it. You start out, it just has damage. But since I've used it so much, it's just rare plus 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 with all these extra things about it. Silence on hit chance, singularity on hit chance, just things like that. Whereas a new weapon, like so over here, nothing special. But as you use it, it'll gain special stuff to it. Same thing goes for clothing. The more damage you take, the more mastery you get on it, the more walking for your, your shoes. Now, I'm not really sure about the ring and the amulet, how those go up. Same thing goes for the hat. Shield is when you block, it levels up. Since I usually use a spear, I'm not going to see that much leveling of that. But that's something I like, is just loyalty to your weapons is, the more you use it, uh, the better it gets. Which is a nice thing that not every game does, so I'm a fan of that for sure. That's the singularity there, pulling everything. We got all these things here, get this thing. Healing shrine, and moving on. Yeah, there's shrines for healing, there's exper uh, an experience shrine as well. And just keep picking up equipment, and you can sell the equipment, try to get better stuff. There are places to combine items to make other items, but they're cauldrons which you have to find in dungeons. I'm going to assume there might be one in town eventually. I've only been playing the game for three hours. I feel three hours is a good amount of time. To get a good sense of a game, to have an opinion of a game, I feel it's a pretty good amount of time here. And my opinion is, as a Steam game, I feel it is a bit lacking in that it's just... There's not a lot of interactivity going on here, but as a tablet game, I think it could work. Or especially as a phone game, just on the go. Like, got a couple minutes, uh, do a dungeon crawler. I think this could work for that very well. That is definitely my opinion, for the most part, is this is this would be ideal as a tablet game. And thankfully, it is a tablet game. Grab these things. Just dungeon crawl for a while longer here. Oh, I should show other abilities. So regroup is... Well, it's regroup. So if you're in a bad situation, whoop! Oh, I'm over here now, so I'm okay. Kind of like Tracer and Overwatch kind of thing. We got Freeze, which is a nice ability to have. So let's go use that. So Freeze, ow. You can use Freeze right here. Ow again. Something I don't like is changing equipment is a turn. I'm not a fan of that. So he's... Resi oh yeah, he's ice resistant. What's wrong with me? Go over here. Let's do Stalagmites. This should be fun. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. I might just put some shields around me, but now I could randomly hit the enemy. Just didn't this time. Fireball, take him out. This one is weak against nature, which would be green, but I don't have attack on green, so... Stab it! Stab it good. Uh-oh. Teleporting things. Hallucinations. So some things aren't real. That's what that is. Okay. Should have highlighted that to see it. Pull them over, and everything's dead. More treasure, more axes and everything. Take a look at these things right here. So, oh, we can't look at it right now. Move up, just fight him. Now, the nice thing about the spear is when you move forward, you can attack as well. It's a thing I got from just having the spear, which is nice. So I can look over here, anything better than what I got. And I got a better shield. Ooh, that's a way better shield. Take that. Not going to use it that often, but when I do use it, that'll be nice. Now, I know I haven't killed everything yet. Now, here's a nice thing over here. After I kill these guys, I'll show it. Whoop! Kill this guy. Now this is a nice touch that I like, is that click on here, and you can teleport to certain landmarks on the map, which is a nice touch there. So I can go to this different stairs, there's stargates, there's also warp points which you can also use. 
that's a nice touch right there. And I think I have shown enough of this game, really. It's, uh, there's not a whole lot going on with it. Uh, again, like I say, it's just, it does, it feels pretty shallow. It's got a nice paint to it, but it feels shallow to me. The pros to it is, again, it looks nice. It is a dungeon crawler, so it is that type of game. Just run around killing things, picking up equipment, run around killing things, picking up equipment. Uh, got a bunch of spells. It's just a little fun little distraction, which is why I feel what is better suited definitely for phone and uh, tablet. And that's ba basically where I recommend it is for that area. But if you still want to pick it up for Steam as something you just pick up and play between things, that can work out for you as well. Once again, this is a $15 game, and uh, that's everything I had to say about this game. Give feedback on how you feel. Uh, I did this uh, type of video. I, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do like kind of a neutral kind of video where it's, here's a game, here's some facts about it. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll buy it, maybe you won't. Just a way of giving you just information on a game, I guess, and up to you to decide what you want to do with it. Uh, so please give me feedback on how you feel I handled this game and how you think I could do this format better. And yeah, so that right there is the game. I had fun over watching. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun links come by, and see you next time.